treadmills has been used for scientific studies of equine exercise physiology for over 100 years. Zunz and Lemon, 1889. Chrisman and Cohn, 1998, described the use of horse treadmills in agriculture, manufacturing, and transportation, beginning about 1830, and also other animal powered machines that have been used for over 2000 years. Two types of muscle powered machines were used. Vertical trade wheels were designed for people, donkeys, goats and dogs. Oaks or horse powered version were rare because of the size, weight and limited agility of the latter animals. Shade 1989 the capstan or windlass consisted of a large drum or axle vertical for capstans and the horizontal for windlasses capstan built for horses are known as horse wheels, horse jeans or horse engine. Horseman and Horn, 1998. The earliest horse wheels were used to turn rotary mills in Greece in 300 before Trist. And in Roman grain riding and olive crushing mills around 100 before twist. Horse powered pumps were used in the 17th and 18th centuries to drain swamps and dredge harbors. Rotary horse, ox, and donkey machines were used for food production during the 17th and 18th centuries to mill grain, cut chaff. A mechanical treasure was developed in the 1770s, resulting in the use of horse whims on many Scottish and English farms. Horse whim boats. Prince Rupert, a cousin of King Charles of England, designed and built the first horse boat about 1680. This vessel used a horse wheel mechanism and was powered by four or eight horses. This boat was used at the Royal Navy's Chatham Dockyard on the Medway River in 1682 and was capable of towing the largest ships of the Royal Navy. Second animal powered craft was designed about 1730, by French General Maurice Comte de Saxe, the horizontal trade wheel horse boat. Horse boats were cheaper than steamboats, but they had disadvantage the whim mechanism and walk away required considerable deck space. Walking in tight circles all day was hard on the horses, resulting in dizziness. Or disorientation. Some horses, when put out to pasture, continued to walk in circles. Holy crap! That was very ridiculous. That's the most funny part of the entire history about these horse machines. The trade wheel boat brought about a revolution in team boating. The horse boat eclipse holds three of Lake Champlain's steamboat records, the largest vessel, the longest carrier for a single boat and the most famous horse boat of its time. Yeah. A similar machine was tested in England in 1838 as a substitute for steam, steam engines on tracks that did not have enough business to support steam. The trials proved highly successful with the 3.6 M tone locomotive reaching speed of 25.6 km per hour. The locomotive impulsoria was invented in Italy in 1850 and has been demonstrated on the London and Western.
way away. Here's Rufus Porter's portable horse power for threshing grain, sowing wood and riding water. As you see, racing horses on the stage showing the machinery under the stage for driving the endless belt. As you see in the next image, the treadmills on stage in Paris, an article in Scientific American documents the use of mechanical treadmills for one of the hits of Messrs. Montreal and Blondel, Paris Port de Mel at the Verities Theater. The scientific use of equine treadmills, the early studies of equine exercise physiology conducted at the end of the 19th century, focused on energy metabolism with particular relevance to the work of the horse. The treadmill and accessories used by Brodin colleagues at the University of Missouri to study the efficiency of draft horses. Rufus Porter's horse power boat from American Mechanic. Hope it was interesting guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and sub. Share that video if it's worth interesting and helpful and valuable. And see you next time.